Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArcleTechsHomepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Monday morning forecast update. We will be starting out this week with some heat. We will be ending the week with some cold air making its way in. So in between, we've got a, a strong cold front. Wednesday is the day to watch this week. That will be our next chance of seeing some area-wide strong to severe thunderstorms. But we definitely dodged a bit of a bullet last night as all the severe weather stayed just off to the northeast of us. So this cold front's uh, kind of going to wash out today. It's unfortunately not going to bring most of us a cool down, but we are running a little bit cooler this morning north of I-30. We're at 57 in Idabel. I think most of us at sunrise will either be in the upper 60s or low 70s, so warm start to the day here. The uh, front is basically uh, down to I-20 at this point, so the north wind is settling in behind this front. This will bring us the humidity drop later today if it's any consolation, but your highs today will actually tie or break many uh, high temperature records. This we should be at about 90 in Shreveport today, 87. And your forecast high in Texarkana and maybe as warm as 93 today in center. May feel a little bit better than yesterday since the humidity will drop off and that's kind of how it will break out through the day. We should be in the mid 80s by lunchtime and again pushing uh, 90 between about 2 and 4 p.m. today. I know you'll hear a lot about the term uh, bomb cyclone or atmospheric river throughout the week. This is the really strong storm system that's impacting the California coastline and this is what's uh, going to be impacting the Arkletex as we move through the day on Wednesday. Wednesday, this area of low pressure will drag a cold front across the region. So a uh, pretty big pattern change on the way for us. We'll, so we'll take you all the way through Wednesday here again for today. Don't expect that we'll see much of any rain out there. In fact, by this afternoon, we should be running mostly sunny. And uh, for the start of the day tomorrow, a little more cloud cover building in ahead of that next cold front. But I have not put any rain in the forecast for your Tuesday. So it should be a dry start to the week here. And here comes Wednesday. There's still a lot of timing uncertainties with how this is all going to play out for us. But it does look like a line of storms will be moving in early in the morning on Wednesday and then just kind of strengthening as it moves through the Arkletex. So Wednesday is one of those setups where, again, damaging wind will be the main threat for us. But the uh, chance of seeing a few brief tornadoes spin up in this line is actually pretty high on Wednesday. So that is something we'll have to watch here. And uh, again, future cash shows the storms going into the afternoon we're hoping to get the storms through here quickly because if we do get a chance to warm up on wednesday out ahead of that front i think we could see a, a higher risk for severe weather so right now the storm prediction center they're keeping the severe weather threat south of i-30 uh, where we'll see a little bit of warm air build in especially uh, late wednesday morning and maybe early in the afternoon so right now they're going with the level one and two but i wouldn't be surprised to see uh, maybe some of these risk categories bumped up through the week so make sure you're checking back for updates wednesday looks like it's going to be pretty active weather day not only that but it uh, we're looking at maybe some heavy rain again all this rain that you see here will probably uh, occur during the day on wednesday so we are showing one to two inches of rain so it's going to be a pretty messy day on wednesday and then uh, pretty windy end to the week here behind this uh, front on wednesday cold air will start to make its way in so we will have highs in the 60s and 70s to close out the week but notice the uh, sustained winds about 20 to 25 miles per hour on thursday here we could have some wind gusts up to about 40 miles per hour Hour. So it's definitely going to be a cool and uh, windy end to the week. We should see that wind settle down this weekend. Weekend's looking great. We should have a lot of sun out there with highs in the 70s.